Families of fallen firefighters from across the United States took part in the Memorial Weekend down in Maryland. This year's tribute memorialized over 200 men and women who lost their lives over the last two years, including two of our own. Joe Cortez joins us now with more from the ceremony. Well, Patrick, the National Fallen Firefighters Memorial Service consists of families, friends, co-workers, and firefighters from across the nation. The national tribute this year focused on 226 firefighters who are no longer with us, but they will never be forgotten. This year, Rhode Island mourns the loss of two men, firefighter Robert Bob Gardner of the Richmond Carolina Fire District. He was 55 years old when he passed away. He spent 20 years on the department before retiring as a deputy chief, came back as a volunteer firefighter in 2008 and was very involved in the town with took great pride in helping his community. Now also honored was 52 year old James Varon of the Providence Fire Department. He passed away on February 27th of last year due to complications of brain cancer. Varon followed in his father's footsteps, joining the Providence Fire Department at an early age. He spent 31 years in the department and rose to the rank of captain. They found it in themselves to foster calm for those in the midst of fear and panic just by being there. And this ceremony exists for one reason to show the families whose loved ones we've honored, as well as their co-workers and everyone who knew them, that our nation recognizes their sacrifice. For more information and the stories behind these brave men and women, check out the 2024 Honor Call by visiting WPRI's website. Live in studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News.